the rotation schedule is a core part of 145, and it affects many other parts of the system, such as evaluations, logs, and grades. Therefore, ensuring your rotation schedule is built correctly and maintaining it is an important task. The rotation schedule is made up of three main components, which all have to be in place before you can schedule any learner. The first component is the learner list. If you have not already added learners to your Rolodex, please see below for additional resources on managing your Rolodex. The second component is blocks. Please see below for additional resources on managing blocks. The third and final component required for a rotation schedule are the rotations themselves. Please see below for additional resources on managing rotations. This training video focuses on an overview of the rotation schedule once those three components are in place and you are ready to begin scheduling learners. Start by clicking on Schedules in the top menu bar and then click Rotation Schedule in the left sidebar. This page is organized with the list of learners on the left and the schedule tracks on the right. The default setting will sort the list alphabetically by last name to include internal learners in standard font at the top and external learners in italicized font at the bottom. If you want to change the way learners are sorted, there are sort options located above the list of learners. Next to sort, click level to sort by grad or postgrad year rather than by name. You can also sort by the program the learner's internal to by clicking the bubble next to program or the blocks the learners are scheduled into rotations first by clicking block. If you prefer to have everything mixed together and sorted merely alphabetically, click the bubble next to Mix. Along the top of the schedule track, you'll see a calendar which shows the months. Each date listed next to a line is the first day of the corresponding block, and then block numbers appear under the months. You can also click on Full Screen View above the calendar if you want to open up the schedule in a separate window for a larger view of the schedule. At the bottom of the page, you will find some options which allow you to filter your rotation schedule. At the bottom left, you'll find you can filter to see only learners who are internal to your program, only external learners, or use the drop-down menu to choose learners who are internal to specific programs only. To the right of that filter, you can choose to view only specific levels in the schedule, such as grad year or a post-grad year. To the right of that, you can choose to limit your schedule to learners who have been tagged as a specific people type, or you can choose to leave your schedule with all learners. Lastly, you can filter for specific rotations. Rotations that exist in your main rotation list but that don't have learners scheduled will not be available to filter by. This option will allow you to only show that rotation in the schedule, and the learners who are scheduled into the rotation will be first in the list. You also have the option to change the size of your rotation schedule by using the zoom function to the right of the filters. If you're having trouble reading your rotation schedule, try changing the pixels to see if that helps. If you find that the lines above and below a learner's name are not matching up with the schedule lines, usually this is because you are zoomed in or out via your browser settings. In this example, I'm using Chrome, and you can see that when I change the zoom settings, the schedule is misaligned. It's best to view the schedule at 100% only. You can hover over the little question mark here to be reminded of that. This has been an overview of the rotation schedule. Look out for future sessions where we will dive into editing blocks, creating rotations, and scheduling learners into their rotations.